Hi, this is Russ McClay, and this is a demonstration of how to analyze a chess game using SCID versus PC. And analyzing one, uh, chess games is kind of mysterious at first. Um, how does it work? Basically, uh, a chess engine, a piece of software, will uh, mathematically examine a game and the moves and will be able to score it. Uh, based on you know the uh, many, so many things, but essentially it's going to score it according to is it better for black? Is it better for white? So anybody who is into chess, um, really into chess, will know about analysis. It's it's essential. But the tools that do analysis, and there are a lot of online ones, Lie Chess, uh, Lee Chess, Lie Chess. Uh, has a really good one where you can upload your PGN file and it will do an excellent analysis. But I like this as well. You have a little more control and, it's, uh, and it has maybe a little bit more information. So uh, I play on a site called uh, Red Hot Pawn. I just play correspondence chess one move a day. Games take a month or more and that's the way I like it. I've been playing on there for a number of years. Um, I think I have a total of like 500 games. So I'm going to load one of those games here. And it's a PGN file, which is just basically a uh, text file. And so we go here to open. Um, and here it is, game PGN. OK. so. I'll explain uh, just a bit about these windows. This, first of all, this is the main game board, and uh, this is the PGN window, and this is the uh, the engine window, and this is a score graph, which will show in a, in bar graphs, you know, if white is winning or is black is winning. So, from that PGN text file, we see the moves. You know, this is move one for for white, e4, black moves c5, and so forth. It, uh, PGN files also include, uh, because they're based on a standard that are shared everywhere, uh, of uh, who was playing, the players, their ratings, uh, when it was played, and um, you know some other information. So basically, that's it. Now, what we want to do to do analysis, it's so easy in uh, skid versus PC we go over here and it's, it's just it's kind of esoteric but we want to do annotation now annotation is normally as anyone who really in chess knows that you make a move and you can uh, you know post game especially you will say oh that you know you can do notation you can say oh this move move 14 was you know uh, I did this because of that so uh, I mean, people, I'm not into chess at that level but some people are. But what this does is this has a function that will do automatic annotations. Um, and let's see how that works. I'm going to click on this. And then there are some configuration options, which I'll let you, you know, you can take a look at these and pause and see how I kind of have them set up. Um, and as soon as you say OK, you can see the engine's already kicked in. It's already starting to analyze the game based on that PGN we uploaded. So now I'm going to say OK, and now it's going to start annotating. And this is the whole cool, cool thing. This is why I'm doing this video, because it's magical, this uh, skin versus PC. So off it goes. The red Ds are means that it's going to show a diagram. Uh, the the green is uh, evaluating the moves, whether it's better for white or black, what you know the, the percentage is. The blue is if it recommends another move, then that will be the consequences of that move based on its computations. Now it may seem like a lot uh, to anybody not into chess, um, but <laughs> for somebody. Uh, you know, it's into it, you know, it's, it's, um, this is how we learn. So we let it do its work, which will just take a few more moments. 
and you can see that bar graph you can see if the if the bars are above the graph it means white's doing better and if they're below it means black's doing better uh, as I recall I lost this game so <laughs> at a certain point now you notice now as it's doing its analysis is things are pretty standard I mean t I've noticed that toward the uh, after the, the mid game it there aren't any really recommendations so uh, white one it appears let's see so I'm lost something here uh, yes actually and uh, but I was black <laughs> so that's how you do analysis now well the first part of it now let's see how it really works so we go back here and I'm gonna flip it around to see it in my perspective and we go here so we can see the first move is E4. Go to the next. It's a diagram. The blue is where um, w was the move that was really made, and the green was the one the computer recommended. So I did that. And then we go to the next move, which is, again, it's the blue move is um, what was made, and the green is what the computer would have recommended. And it goes like that. And then if you chose, in this case, if you chose the, uh, you know, the E5, or the, uh, what is it, F, F3, if we do, let's see how we do this, cancel. Right, NF3, then this would happen, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. It, it just uh, gives you a, you know, a uh, variation at that point. Pick the game back up. You'll see these symbols here. These mean either it's a dubious move, it's a blunder, it's uh, a drawish move, like that. So. That's it for this little demonstration of Skid versus PC as a way to analyze chess games. It's free and it's a lot of fun. And also you can you can use it to play against the engines as well. And that was the whole purpose actually of this. Um, and I wanted to make this as something I could use later as well. There it is.